What's up, what's going on guys, Geeks on the Fiona, I'm gonna be reviewing Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, this, um, it, it, it bummed me out that this movie wasn't R-rated, specifically because of Carnage, like, Carnage is, you know, you know what Carnage is like, you know, um, he's ruthless, he's really brutal, he's not like the most strongest symbiote, but he's one of the you know, he's one, he's up there, you know, he's one of the most brutal, I mean, there's, obviously, there's the spawn of Carnage, which is obviously Toxin, and yeah, anyway, so, I am going to leave a timestamp at the, um, probably round about now, and that will be, that timestamp will be for when the, um spoiler part of this review starts because for the minute this part is strictly spoiler free and for the most part this movie was it was it went as expected it went as expected like okay so i went in thinking okay this movie is probably not going to top it top like the first one in terms of how the story goes, like, first one had, like, this good story, and, and, the Let There Be Carnage didn't seem to have that much of a good story, it was just, you know, it just seemed, like, very not far out, in my opinion, um, I, I'm not really good at doing, like, spoiler-free reviews, so it's kind of difficult for me to say something without actually spoiling it, but if there's one thing I'd actually change is, um, to be completely honest, just the fact that it was, wasn't was R-rated, it was round, it's, it was shorter than the first movie, which I honestly think it should have been longer as well, because I think the, sh the, the you could have done, like, a lot more with Carnage, and you can see in the trailers of this movie that they will probably explore both those two relationships between Eddie and Venom, and obviously Cletus and Carnage, because, yeah, the, the first one, they didn't really obviously get to explore that side of things because Venom only just bonded with Eddie. And he was like, what the fuck is happening and shit like that. But, yeah. So, this is where I'm going to start my spoiler review. I'm going to explain Carnage's backstory a little bit in the comics. So, Eddie Brock was in prison... And his cellmate was Cletus Cassidy. And um, Venom, the Venom symbiote went to break uh, Eddie Brock out. But in doing so, the Carnage symbiote spawned off of him. And wanted to bond with the closest person to him, which was, you know, Cletus Cassidy. And then that entailed, you know, the Carnage villain being born. And they played out this origin in the movie very not differently, but the way the way they did it and and the way they did it in this movie was that um, obviously Eddie went to see Cletus, Venom lashed out and and Cletus bit Eddie, and that then caused Cletus to take his, you know, lick his blood and lick his, you know, symbiote DNA blood because obviously when a Venom, when a symbiote bonds to its host, it obviously, you know, it will bond with their DNA and change their DNA, I guess. Which is why, how Cletus kind of got this kind of symbiote and... They did play a little bit of a Easter egg from what I know of. They played a load of Easter eggs to between like Tobey Maguire's Spider Man movies and the Amazing Spider Man movies with the you know the church bells, 
the um Gwen, you know, the there was a bit where um Anne was falling down the tower and I'm pretty sure that was an Easter egg for what happened with Gwen Stacy, but instead of Anne dying, uh, instead of Gwen um instead of Anne dying she survived. That's the only difference I'd say it, that is. And I also, while going to this movie, I actually expected, I was actually thinking, why the hell are people going nuts over this posting credit? Like, what actually happened? And I was running it to myself, me and my mate, he was, he was like, oh, maybe Spider-Man's in it. And I didn't think it would be, like, you know, because I don't, it is the perfect time to have Spider-Man in with Venom, but... I didn't actually think they would do it personally, personally, because I thought like I'm pretty sure Spider-Man had like is gonna have four movies first before like Venom crossed over. Uh, but we never know, we never know, and it turns out that um, basically what was happening with Spider-Man No Way Home right now is that. Um, Everybody knows Peter Parker's identity, and so Peter goes to Doctor Strange and asks uh, for everyone to forget his real identity, and um, Venom actually arrived in their universe as everything glitched out as the spell was working, as as, as the spell was happening, Ven uh, everything around glitched out, and Venom kind of spawned into... Spider-Man's universe, and, um, because Venom, like, Venom licked the TV saying, that guy, and what, basically, basically, um, Venom has, like, this mass knowledge of, like, everything, like, Eddie doesn't know a whole lot about the symbiotes, and Venom was literally about to say that he knows he has, like, a vast knowledge of a lot of things outside of this universe. And that's kind of why he knew Spider-Man. He knew Peter Parker because of, obviously, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. And that's kind of how they played it in the post-scene credits. And that's kind of how um, they, uh, Venom, knew and wanted to go after Spider-Man. So I don't think um it's like if venom was to be in no way home i do have an idea how that could play out because i don't um peter probably couldn't you know face a sinister six alone because that seems like what they're doing is doing the sinister six thing and if that ends up happening the sinister six probably won't be able to do it alone i mean peter won't be able to do it alone fight the sinister six alone and, um, I don't know, maybe they just sort of team up or something and they fight, but they fight at first. I have no idea how that could play out if, if Venom was to be in No Way Home. And, um, I don't think it was going to be like a actual full-on Spider-Man movie or Venom um, movie. I did watch a video by a YouTuber and... He had um, a pretty good idea of how it could play out, where they have like a little spin off kind of thing, um, spin off crossover kind of thing with Venom and Spider Man in one movie. But like, even if that happens, that won't be them two fighting it out for on, and then that's the end of the movie. It's like you will need to have like a villain that's like both stronger at, stronger than Venom and Spider Man put together. So, I guess that could either be the demon, uh, the symbiote king, I've forgotten what it's called. Pretty sure it is a symbiote king, right? Uh, that's the only thing I can think of, but, like, I don't know how this could play out or how the MCU or Sony is going to take this in this direction, how it's going. But I'm pretty excited. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Smash like, subscribe. Turn the post notifications on for more, and I'll see you in the next one.